Hey guys, this video is going to be about two things. Civ 5 running on my MacBook Pro 2011, I'm going to put the stats somewhere on this video, and the Wacom Bamboo Fun, and what it's like to play with the Bamboo Fun on a, on a game. I'm sorry that the camera's a little bit shaky right now, it's on a monopod, and I have to stand all the way back here just to get you guys this video. So, let's start off with the Bamboo Fun. If I hover my pen, from uh, on each of the corners, it'll move my camera. Hold on, let's, let's do this. It'll move my it'll, it'll move the game from one side to the other. So right now, I'm not even touching the actual bamboo yet. I'm just hovering from left to right at the very very edges of the tablet, and I press this button up here, the the one closest to the pen tip. I press and hold that button, and then I move the pen up and down to zoom in and out, and. Oh, here's, here's one thing I found playing Civ is, well, it's a little bit laggy when you're moving around left and right, especially when you're zoomed out. When you're zoomed all the way in, it's not too bad, as you can see. It's really not bad when you're zoomed in, it's just when you're zoomed out. Okay, what else is the feature with this bamboo? Well, this is the right click, the button furthest away from the pen tip. So let's select this cannon unit over here, and let's move around oh you can also do this to move around you can push and point and then right click on anywhere on the map let's say here and my cannon unit moves in that direction so that's the block and bamboo i find that it works well with civ 5 let's move the camera a little bit closer now all right, now let's talk about the trackpad. Let's make sure we're on focus here. Let's talk about the trackpad. You can use the trackpad to move around and to play the game. I've done it before. I've played a whole session with just a trackpad. My only gripe with it is it's really hard to move around. Now, let's just say I want to move the same guy again. I double click on the trackpad and then I move my hand around all the way to this side. And as you can see, I can't go past that river to the left because my fingers are touching the very edge of the trackpad. So what I usually do is I double click and I find out where he can walk and then I move my mouse over there. Let's say I want him to walk over here and then I double click and I let go and he moves over there. So that's the only gripe I have about using the trackpad playing Civ. Speaking of Civ, let's get started with the actual Civ 5 game. Let's see what brightness am I here. Uh, okay, let's pump up the brightness and Civ 5, well, it runs very, very smoothly when you're zoomed in, again, when you're zoomed out, it's a little bit jittery. Well, it's a lot jittery, actually. And what settings am I playing with? Let's go to options. Let's go to video options. And you can't see it from the camera. Okay, I'm going to put a screenshot of it somewhere on this video. But this is the setting that it was on when I turned on the machine and I, I started playing the game. This is what setting it was on. So none of it was changed. And I, I quite like it. There's hardly any hiccups that I find, though I do realize that after playing for, well, for six hours or so, straight up, things will start crashing on you, so I'm going to have to exit the game and then restart it again to get back to normal. But even on a large map like this, well, this isn't really the largest map, but on quite a large map like this, there isn't really any hiccups. Now. Playing Civ 5 on a MacBook Pro, it will suck up your juice like crazy. Like, I, I get about a full charge, maybe one hour worth of battery on this thing. So, it really does suck up your battery. And the fans, the fans are going to be constantly running hot. Let's turn down the brightness here so you can actually see my hand and stuff. So, the fans are constantly running on this machine. And you only have one hour worth of battery, but if you, as long as you have it plugged in, it's it's fine. I, I find that it's just fine. Now, what else am I going to talk about? I've got nothing left to talk about, and if I do, I'm going to make another video about it. I remember what I was going to talk about, actually. The glare. As you can see, this is bright light over there, and there is qu there's not as much glare as, as you'd think, because I got the screen to... There you go. You see, I just pump up the brightness, the glare disappears, and I find that the anti-glare screen is totally worth it when it comes to MacBook Pros. And if you're gonna, you know, if you're gonna have bright sunlight on the outside, and yeah, anti-glare, totally worth it if you're gonna work in bright light. See, you see the glare coming right up, and then it disappears, ba-bam, like magic.